we're seeing today is that when they lock up a bunch of people, somebody turns on somebody. You see, and start cooperating and, uh, well, we used that. When they locked us up, we had, uh, we got access to uh, uh, co-defendant meetings every Saturday. So we used that as a family, uh, a, a, a government sponsored reunion. <laughs> Because we hadn't seen each other in a long time, in 30 some years. So we started bonding again, you know. So it didn't work, that wouldn't work, and, uh, and nothing will, you know, because they don't understand the nature of the people they're dealing with. You know? I, just want to, I just want to say one thing. Uh, it's your constitutional right to refuse to talk to the police. You need to take Advise you your constitutional rights and says, do you want to talk to him? He's contradicting himself right there. Do you? No, I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> All right, then he's asking, you know, am I going to arrest? He says, no, then you say, well, I got something. I got a cup. Don't sit there and talk to him. He's, it's not his job to work things out for you. It's his job to not to help That's what he does. That's how he makes his living. So you can't negotiate and compromise with the devil. Yeah. I'm getting that, you know, because that's what he's there for. So I, I, I advise all young people, when they tell you to shut your mouth, shut your mouth. The moment you put your mouth in gear, you are volunteering information. You know, you're giving him something that he didn't have before. I mean, you're digging a hole that you cannot climb out of. That's one thing I learned by being in the party and being with my brothers is that when they start asking me questions, that means you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Because if you knew, you wouldn't ask me questions. Okay? Just common sense can keep you, can spare you a lot of pain. And I, I think that's important for young people because you see this stuff on TV, 48 hours, cop. First thing you see is these jokers running their mouth. Trying to negotiate a way out of a bad situation. Don't talk to him. You don't have to. He tells you you have the right to remain silent. Shut up. Don't talk to him. <laughs> when you confront this man. You make eye contact with him. And you let him know. First of all, you're not afraid. Yeah. Second of all, I'm innocent. Until proven guilty in a court of law by my peers. So if I'm not under arrest, I've got to go to work. I've got to do what i got to do. i got to go to school. You've got time to mess around with me. Mm. So that's my mm. words of wisdom to you guys. Mm. And, and there are so the majority of the people, period, are, are like us, just law-abiding citizens who don't do anything wrong. There are a few people who do wrong things. Eat, still keep your mouth shut, even if you say <laughs> You are not going to lie your way out, you ain't going to fool nobody. You need to try. Ask for your attorney and put it in his or her hands. That's the only chance you got if you got a chance. You know, but, but don't learn to just say, uh, I, I don't have anything to say until I see my name. Yeah, just, I want to tell my name. It's the only thing Nancy Reagan ever said right. Yes, yes I know. Say <laughs> okay, we're going to get set up to show the film. While that's going on, we have time for maybe a couple of questions straight from.